Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. Getting kids to eat vegetables can be hard whether you're at home or at school. In this video, we're going to look at some different ways to serve broccoli to children. Um, we're going to look at broccoli in two different ways. We're going to do a hot version and a cold version. We're going to do a roasted broccoli and a broccoli salad. Another thing we're going to look at in this video is a little bit of time management skills. If you are making multiple different items, you want to look at how you're planning, how you do this. So we're going to start off by doing the roasted broccoli first, and while that's in the oven, we'll work on our broccoli salad. Another thing we're going to look at here is if you're doing multiple items that require the same ingredients, doing your prep all at the same time for both of those items. So as you can see here, I've gotten all my ingredients gathered together, and we're going to start working on the prep. We have some nice fresh broccoli here, and we need half of it for our roasted broccoli and half of it for our broccoli salad. So another thing I'm going to do is have a bowl here for scraps. One thing that's awesome about broccoli is even the stems are edible. You can use them and chop them up for soups. Um, you can freeze them and save them for uh, stalks or things like that. Um, but they are great. One thing I would suggest is maybe peeling off some of this rough stuff, chopping it up finely, and they're a great addition to any soup you're making. So I'm going to peel all the leaves off here. Keep that. down. All right, we've got our broccoli cleaned up now and I just have it divided in between what's going to be for the roasted broccoli and what's going to be for the broccoli salad. So for the roasted broccoli you want to keep it pretty much whole. Um, I'm going to suggest cutting some of these in half just to make them a little bit more bite sized for students. And anytime you come across some more of these leaves, make sure to peel them off as well. Um, but you can use your hands, use your knife, whatever works best for you. When you get some of these little ones, you can leave them whole though. All right, so we have the broccoli cut up for our roasted broccoli. We're going to go ahead and set that off to the side and get our broccoli chopped up for the broccoli salad. This you want into a little bit smaller, kind of bite-sized pieces. That way when you are tossing it in the dressing and in other ingredients you put into it, it gets fully coated. All right, now that we have all of our broccoli prepped, we're going to go ahead and set the stuff of the broccoli salad off to the side, and we will come back to that once we have our roasted broccoli in the oven. There we go. Go ahead and set my scraps off to the side. And grab my sheet pan. Now, when doing any roasted vegetable, you can put parchment down underneath of it, but it will really roast up a lot better if you go straight on the pan. I understand washing dishes isn't always the most fun thing in the world, but you will have a better quality product. 
So the next thing we're going to do is start putting our seasonings and oil in here. So for this, we also will need to chop up or mince up a clove of garlic. You can go ahead and toss that right on top of your broccoli. You'll need just a splash of some extra virgin olive oil. Just enough to kind of fully coat everything. And you can always add a little bit more if you need it, but you can never take it back out. So I'm going to go with some salt. and some pepper. And then we're going to add some lemon zest. So I'm going to zest my own. You can purchase this if you need to, if you don't have fresh lemons in your kitchen. And then it calls for a tablespoon of juice. And you can use the juice of the lemon that you just zested, or if you have bottled lemon juice, either is fine. If you're going to use the juice of the lemon you zested, I definitely suggest rolling it to help release those juices. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. And then I'm just going to squeeze it right over my hand so that if any seeds come out, my hand will catch them. All right, and then we just give it a good toss. You want to make sure that broccoli is fully coated with all of those seasonings. So then I'm going to go ahead and spray my sheet pan. just to help it not stick quite as much and spread the broccoli over the pan. Where I took my gloves off, I'm just going to go ahead and use the back of my knife to kind of evenly spread it. You definitely don't want to overcrowd the pan. Obviously, this pan's a little large for the amount that we're doing, but the more airflow you get around the broccoli, the better it's going to roast. So then we're using a convection oven, so we're going to put it in our oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes checking on it periodically and once you see the edges really start to brown up that's when you're looking good so now that our broccoli is in the oven the next thing we're going to do is make the dressing for our broccoli salad so we got some light mayonnaise we have some apple cider vinegar so a little bit of sugar salt and pepper to taste so we're going to take a mixing bowl Put our mayonnaise in there. And I am using light mayo because that is, of course, what we recommend to be used in schools as well. So 
So we need three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Actually, I'm going to wait till last because I'm going to use my measuring spoons for my sugar. So definitely do your dry measures before you're wet. So two tablespoons of sugar. And then we'll do the cider vinegar. And then the salt and pepper, again, is just to taste. I'm going to start with just a little bit of this. I'll admit I like a lot of pepper, but you know, start with just a small amount and then add what you need to from there. So we're going to make sure we whisk this really well. Start slow so that cider doesn't splash everywhere. And that's our nice tangy dressing for our broccoli salad. So we'll go ahead and set that aside right now. And in the next bowl, we're going to take, we have our chopped up broccoli. We need to chop up a red onion. So I'm going to get onto that. And then for some of the other things, they are kind of optional. Um, this particular recipe calls for bacon bits. I'm going to split it in half and add bacon to one half and not the other. Because there are going to be some instances in schools where your students don't choose to eat pork products or you want to be respectful of that. So just so you know, you can make this either way. Um, this recipe also calls for dried cranberries and sunflower seeds. Um, if you don't have a nut-free school, you are more than welcome to add nuts to this recipe if you'd like. I'm choosing to stick with the sunflower seeds. So you will want to dice this onion I like to cut mine in half. I tend to leave the root intact for something for myself to hold on to. I cut the end off. Go right into the trash with that and peel it off. All right, and then when I'm getting a small dice, I like to keep my hand flat and make some slices this direction. Sometimes you've got to hold it a little still. But just make sure you do not put your fingers in front of the blades. And then because this is a salad, I want them fairly small, and I'm going to make some slices going this way as well. And then just nice small dices on this onion. And this recipe calls for about a half a cup because I'm only making about a half a recipe. I'm only going to look for about a quarter of a cup. We'll go ahead and toss them right in this bowl here. And then we have our dried cranberries and our sunflower seeds here. And we want about a quarter of a cup of the cranberries and just, just shy of that of the sunflower seeds. So then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add the dressing to this as a whole. I will then split it in half and add the bacon, just so that way I'm not mixing twice. So I'm going to add a majority of it in here, and then I'm going to mix it using my hands. And if I think it needs more, then I can add more. Once again, you can always add more. You can't take it back out. And I will say the easiest way to mix things like this is using your hands. You have way more control than with a spatula. Um, and if you're making a large amount for your school salad bar, one of those big mixing bowls, they make long gloves that go halfway up your arms, and you can really just get in there. So I feel like the dressing amount that I put in here actually has coated very nicely, so I'm not going to go ahead and add any more at this time. 
And one great thing about this is the longer you let it sit, the more all of these flavors will come together. So if you make this first thing in the morning, by the time lunch rolls around and this hits your salad bar, those flavors are really going to be working really well together. But I'm going to go ahead and grab another bowl. And I'm going to split this in half. And I'm going to add in some baking, um, fresh bacon bits that I made. You can purchase bacon bits or you can make your own. That's completely up to you or you don't have to add them in at all. And just kind of toss those into. And now we have two beautiful versions. I'm not going to put that hand back in there of our wonderful broccoli salad that kids will love. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our broccoli out of the oven now. And we have got a lot of color on this broccoli. In my opinion, not a bad idea. Um, I like it this way. Some people might not like it as roasted. So definitely check it along the way because this wasn't even in the full 20 minutes. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and put this right back into a bowl. I'm going to put on a glove and we are going to sprinkle Parmesan cheese on this because broccoli can only be made better by adding cheese to it. So just measure with your heart at this point. I like a lot of cheese, so I'm going to go in a little bit extra here. Use my spatula and kind of just toss it around. And now you have some wonderful roasted broccoli that hopefully your students will enjoy.